Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to recreate the zero range test I did, but with the uh, Energica Eva Rebel. Uh, it was, uh, I got it written down, but uh, it's, it's 55 miles per hour for about a quarter of the way, and then 7 miles per hour for the rest of the ride. Uh, and before I did a level 2 charge for about an hour, and then I came back. So we're going to try to do a similar thing, well the same ride, same speeds, but on the Energica Eva Rebel. Here we go. Alright, so it's 2.19pm, it's, uh, it says 69 degrees, but I think it's actually like mid 60s, and when you get, oh, it just went to 71, I'm just a liar. Alright, never mind, it's cold. It feels like it's cold when you get going though, so uh, I think before it was in the mid to high 70s, so it was a little, little more comfortable, and I don't think it's going to impact the range. But uh, I should have worn more than my thin, thin summer gloves. Here we go. All right, we're at 61.5 miles in the trip, 43% charged. At least for the last bit, we averaged 180 watt hours per mile, which is at 70 miles per hour. Not incredible efficiency, but with the huge battery, that's about 100 miles at 70 even. I'll take that. Right, I was a little bit scared there for a while. So with the Zero, we had to sit next to Starbucks for, I forget, an hour, hour and a half. Drink a mocha, hang out. But since this is Energica, Energica? Hopefully. We need to plug into a CCS for 10 minutes at a free plug down here at a dealership if they'll let us use it. Uh, we have 43% charge, so we could we could almost turn around and make it back now. I'm, I'm sure there's a CCS along the way we could hit, but we're going to try and top up here to have enough to get all the way back home. Isolation testing. And we got an error. It's not good. Hmm. Well, this could be bad. So that makes me really sad. This is the only CCS charger at the north end of Skyline Drive. I was hoping to come here and charge up and do Skyline Drive sometime. Alright, if these EA stations don't work, I've got 9% and 9 miles roughly of range, so, uh, I don't know, maybe i find a level 2 in a hotel nearby, because it's going to start pouring down rain and get really cold soon. So, fingers crossed for these stations to work. Oh, thank God. I was starting to think they were coming soon stations. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Alright, 8% left. This better work. Alright, we've gone 43.9 miles from when we got back on the highway. 46% remaining. 55 miles of range with current use. And it did not start it before it took off. There we go. Ready? Oh, starting to rain. I still say it's... This thermometer's off, but it's not 69 degrees. It's like 64, 62. Ugh. You know what? Screw it.
Look at those heated handle grips. We made much better efficiency coming back. I forgot that the return trip is downhill. We might have actually been able to make it back without charging if I'd just gone there and turned around, probably come back at 0%. All right, I've crunched the numbers. The SRS last time had an effective range of about 100 miles with the speeds I tested it at. So the dirty secret is the SRS is an incredibly efficient vehicle. It's fully fared, direct drive, belt driven, very low resistance. And the Rebel is just kind of a beast with a giant battery. So you'd hope with 50% larger battery, you would go 50% further and do 150 miles. Well, no, it came out to 120, which is still very respectable. And of course the charge time, I did 20 minutes charging at a Walmart on CCS and I had plenty enough, plenty to get home. I had 17% back when I got back. Uh, the zero took over an hour of charging at a Starbucks when I got out there. So uh, that's the end result. Rebel 120 miles of range versus the Zero's 100. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe.